Hello everyone, this is Russell Lowe speaking. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to uh, add a custom animation to a standard uh, crisis uh, rig. Uh, I'm using the CryEngine uh, Free SDK, the 339 version here, and uh, I'm using 3ds Max uh, 2012. Um, I'm going to jump around a little bit uh, and kind of work backwards. Uh, so bear with me, but hopefully I should cover everything. So I'm just going to drop into the game. You can see that I've got uh, uh, the debug on, so it's showing me the bones and everything as well. So you can see this custom character, uh, custom mesh over a standard rig. Uh, if I hit the up key, uh, it'll play a sitting up uh, animation. If I hit the down key, it'll play a sitting down. So up, down, up, up, down and so on. Um, if I come out of here and take a look at the flow graph you can see let me just oh, maybe I just minimize that over there you can see that this is just uh, so you can see the keys um, just no key um, selected and it'll um, I'll put that to the screen. Uh, you can see when I hit the down key it starts and stops when I press and release and same with the up key uh, this is playing an animation Chinese soldier sit down if I double click on here you can see all the animations that I can choose from these are all the standard animations um, and uh, Chinese soldier sit down and Chinese soldier sit up I can choose from there and then uh, sit down yeah that's the down one and go OK and it'll um, it'll put it in there. So um, let's take a look at the character editor before we leave Crisis. I'll have to open up a um, uh, the CDF that I'm using here. So open this up and open this Chinese Soldier CDF. Now what you can see is the animations all on the left hand side. If I expand them, they had titles and you get them. Uh, these are all the ones that you can choose from. Uh, my one is, or my two sitting ones are in here, Chinese Soldier and and uh, these two titles. And you can see if I play it, it'll loop through and move. Uh, one thing I should draw your attention to is that this is a, let me just stop that, uh, this is a standard rig uh, uh, with a, um, a skeleton, uh, a skeleton sort of mesh with it, I'll explain that a little bit later, and it's got um, a body uh, attached to it, and I'll, um, that'll, that'll be important a little later. Now, uh, what I should show you is uh, a bunch of uh, the stuff I've learnt today is from Just Make Games, um, this 3ds Max to CryEngine uh, set of tutorials. There are three tutorials, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, but this will show you how to rig your character and how to uh, do some animation like I'm going to do, but I'm going to do a slightly different one that it doesn't show you. Um, and then talks about the character params and all that sort of stuff. Um, so to get um, the animations uh, into the game, you have to create them, and you create them using um, 3ds Max. I'm using 3ds Max, and I export them to Game Animations Chinese Soldier. Um, and you can see here's my CAF. I think that must stand for Crisis or a character animation file. Um, those are the two files. And then uh, if I go to the um, game objects, so that was in the um, game animations Chinese soldier file folder. Um, this is the uh, op character that I've uh, exported. Um, and this is the one I'm going to um, work on in a second, uh, I've created a character files, two character files, these skeleton character and a Chinese soldier character file. 
uh, I've combined them in the CDF which is what you see in the character editor and then uh, I've created this character params for the skeleton character and I created it you can create one for the skeleton character and one for the Chinese soldier character which are kind of um, combined in this CDF file um, but you can just create the one for the base um, for the base sort of controller if you like and add all of the animations into it um, which might be a little bit easier to understand I hope so this skeleton character character params file this is the thing that um, this is a file that points to the animations um, and basically I took uh, all of this from the standard character uh, agent character um, so what I did is I went into the um, uh, the pack file and I unzipped the objects one and got this and then into characters agent and you can see that there's this character um, skeleton character character params I didn't even change the name because when I exported the skeleton character um, uh, that came that's a standard part of the uh, crisis rig that we'll see in a second um, so getting rid of that um, all I did was take that and then add uh, these files here in the bottom so these ones here this basic player character params points to all of the standard animations and then I've added these three here so the first one is the file path that points to my animations file with the Chinese soldier animations in it and uh, inside that uh, animations folder there are these two animations or well, there will be these two um, they are there at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete them and um, and I'm going to recreate them in 3ds max so popping across to oh sorry popping across to 3ds max this is the standard uh, this is the standard character agent character rig um, and if we go into layers uh, you can see this is a little bit strange uh, you hit the light bulb and it <laughs> turns things off I don't know quite what that means uh, this is the default um, agent character you can see there so I'll turn him off again uh, this is my um, Chinese character mesh that was created by uh, Jake Jeffries um, for a project that I'm working on with uh, Federico Solmi uh, called uh, Chinese Democracy and uh, the locator locomotion thing is down there uh, skeleton character so this is the thing that I export um, and all this is if we turn everything else off actually that's sorry that's on turn everything off skeleton character you can see hopefully that all the skeleton character mesh it's exactly like um, this acts exactly the same way that our custom mesh does and the standard uh, agent character mesh does um, but it's meant to be kind of invisible in the end um, and just there so we can um, have a skeleton that we can make attachments um, to uh, so we, that's how we build the um, uh, CDF file okay so let's turn uh, our soldier back on and the BIP back on and there's your physics stuff over there which doesn't really do so much for us so here we go this, this is um, the setup and I think, think when you first open it you'll see all this text and all around uh, all around the place okay so closing that um, if we still working backwards um, this is the uh, CryEngine 3 exporter you can see the skeleton character and the Chinese soldier um, have been added to it uh, when I say Chinese soldier that's the name um, of our mesh and um, and the skeleton character is that uh, little polygon right in the middle there that's going to get hidden 
um, you export those as CHRs which is what you saw before I won't do that now um, and along with that oh, that's interesting um, it probably only CAF export probably need the BIP01 so let me BIP01 pick oh sorry add selected so that usually pops in um, automatically when you um, select these things and possibly it only happens when you export them maybe um, but that needs to be there uh, so what we'll do now is I'll go back into this view uh, I'm going to animate a, a sitting um, a sitting pose for this guy I'm going to make him sit down then going to make him uh, stand back up again right what I do have already if I select this um, upper body you can see I've made this part of the animation to 17 frames the body move forward a little bit and then this part uh, move forward a little bit and then slowly sort of go straight up again and you'll see why I've done that in a second to make the animation look a little bit more natural uh, I'm no expert at this but um, uh, but you know I thrash about at it something that um, something that got me um, pretty confused um, for a while there was um, uh, animating the pelvis so I've grabbed the pelvis here and I just can't move it and I don't didn't know why for a long time but if you open up under the um, motion rollout if you open up the body vertical or the body horizontal track um, suddenly you can start moving this guy around um, thank God for that um, now I should also show you that I have if I can select his feet I've pinned his feet down and if you're looking for a sit animation this is something that you'll um, see a little bit so the left foot uh, key info key framing tools let me open up the where did they go oh that's nice went below the window okay so key framing tools the um the feet are actually pinned in place it's not really showing that Um, that's doing that. Select the select the body. Hit one of these. Now I can move him. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I don't need to do that. That's interesting. Um, oh no, that's what that is. I'm sure that's what that uh, keyframe is. Hang on. So we've got that. I'm expecting to see this as an anchor. Um, So let's click that anchor and then uh, yeah well this one here um, you hit set planted key which is already there actually let me delete those so that's the left foot this one I'll delete him too now let me move the pelvis and see what happens there remember you have to click these tracks okay yeah so that's moving around um, moving the whole thing so what I do is I select the foot and I go anchor left though that's a right leg anchor right leg and then uh, hit this button here that goes set planted key and then select this guy uh, anchor the left think of the left leg and then see you can see a pin uh, see a a uh, marker comes up a keyframe there but if I hit the set planted key oh uh, sets it to two okay so they're they're both set and I was expecting to see these um, showing up like I say I'm not a um, particularly expert at this stuff um, so now I've got the feet planted I can move the um, body around 
Um, so what I want to do is hit the auto key, um, bang one of these set keys in at zero, and then move the frame to 17, and then grab this pelvis and sort of give him a sit position, and you can see that it's put a keyframe in for me. <laughs> okay, why are you being like that for? That's a bit better. I wonder why I did that. Uh, okay, so then we go um, move ahead to sort of key 18. I'm going to hold down the shift key and copy that key. So it starts from there, and then I'm going to go to 36. And oh, get my pelvis back again. of uh, pelvis. Come on, select, there we go. Got to have these, um, got to have these keys showing so you can see the keyframes as well. It's a little frustrating, I'll tell you that. Um, I'll select this one and hold the shift down and drag that over to 36, so that's standing up again. Yeah, so the trick with this whole sit thing is to lock the legs, put a um, put a pin into each one of these, um, put a set planted key into each one of the feet, and then uh, and then you can go for gold with the um, you can go for gold with moving everything else around, and he'll he'll sort of move up and down, and now you can see, let me. Uh, let me highlight the pelvis again. You can see why I made him lean forward a little bit, because you kind of you kind of lean forward a bit to sort of keep your centre of balance over. You don't just sort of bend at your knees. Anyway, that's some shitty animation, but it's uh, but it is animation. So if we now go to the um, our utilities tab and we go down to the Crynjan exporter. We're going to export our BIP01, um, and that has not shown up in there again, so add selected, and we are going to do a range, and um, if we do BIP01, because all the other bones are linked to it, it'll take them along with it, uh, so the manual range will go from 0 to, uh, what's that, 17, and um, We'll go export bones and now this is um, saving to my animations Chinese soldier um, uh, uh, folder sit and we'll call it sit down like the last one and go uh, save that's done you get a funny little error there that doesn't seem to make any difference and then we'll go from 18 to 36 and we'll export the bones again and we'll call this one sit up now that just keeps everything sit up and sit down sort of a little bit sort of weird um, but anyway uh, there you go so we've got those uh, that we've exported, um, they'll they are now in our um, uh, in the animations folder, and the uh, so just refreshing your memory, um, we have to um, go into our skeleton character params folder and add them to that, and then. Uh, go into our um, go into our game and create a flow graph that um, that references them into here so probably I probably should make another one just to prove that I'm not bullshitting um, so how about 
we add some more key, some more frames, uh, like to 90. Just give us some room. Okay, we go. I might just grab that frame and that frame and move them along to there. Ah, oh, see, this doesn't line up with my. Okay, that doesn't line up with my. Um, uh, with my upper body animation. So let's just go from 40, uh, auto key, we grab, maybe we grab his hand, and hand, and do uh, go into the motion key, and just add a set key there, and then go to 60, and Uh, what do we want to do? It's just for demonstration, I guess. What will that look like? Well, that's pretty amazing. Um, let's make that happen a bit faster. And then we'll just grab this key and shift and copy it to 60. So he goes waving his arm around like a lunatic. Um, turn off the auto key. We didn't have to adjust these track selections for the hand and anything else other than the um, uh, the the center of mass, which is a sort of uh, pelvis on this guy. So um, now we want to export that one. So we go across to here, and um, Bipo one is selected, which is good. We want to do a manual range from forty to uh, 60 40 to 60 and go export bones and let's call this Chinese soldier and wave hand wave left hand oh. See, this is sort of sounds stupid, but it's probably going to be better if I go wave hand left. Save that. That's done. If we look in our um, Chinese soldier animations folder, I've got that CAF in, the <coughs> in there. And then uh, if I go now to my character params file, which I've got open. Hang on. What I need to do now is I'll copy this one here and then call it wave hand left uh, and then Chinese soldier wave hand left. I might as well just copy that and paste today. CAF. So it's already looking in that um, in that file path, and it's got the same name as long as I've spelt that uh, correctly. Just go Control S to save it. Now it's not going to show up in the game. Um, uh, until I restart the game. So that's a bit of a bummer, but um, there you go. Anytime you add a new animation, you have to or do anything. I think to the character file, you have to um, you have to restart the engine. So this is probably worthwhile to do. Um, do more than prove that it's uh, a legit way of working. So here we go. We've opened it up. Close the flow graph for a second, open up that level again. So we won't have to do anything, it'll appear in the list uh, for the flow graph, but I will show you in the character um, uh, the character file again. Sorry, the character editor file open Chinese soldier. 
So now in the Chinese soldier we've got this wave hand left, <laughs> which is pretty retarded. Um, I'll close that down and then uh, open this guy's flow graph and say when I press, actually I might as well just control C to copy them, uh, control V to paste them, change this, oh, I should have pasted with links, uh, right click, uh, paste with links and then uh, let's do the uh, P key Oh no, sorry, the L key. I think I've got the P doing something else. So the L key, double click on this for the animation. And I've got wave hand left there um, that I can choose from now. So close this down. Go G to get into the game. Sit down. And L. I have to keep pressing it because it's uh, only doing one. One loop, sit down, stand up, wave your hand about, look it's fantastic for teaching um, for teaching robots to dance. Okay, hopefully that, um, that knocks off a few things. Um, if you're interested in adding custom animations to the standard um, characters, um, like I say, go, go to um, uh, justmakegames.com and do their tutorials um, on how to do um, the character rigging and that sort of thing it's really really quite useful and it uh, helps you get the hang of the standard uh, the standard rig uh, inside uh, inside Max um, a lot more than if you were um, just trying to bash your way through this uh, thank you very much uh, that was probably a bit longer than it needed to be but uh, hopefully I covered a few extra things cheers